earwax, ear infections, and kids putting things in their ears. These are all really common things that you'll see as a junior ear, nose and throat doctor. And if you haven't guessed it, today's ENT Bite is about the external acoustic meatus, also known as the external auditory canal. So what is the external acoustic meatus? Essentially, it derives from the first pharyngeal cleft, that is between the first and second pharyngeal arches, and it is a canal that passes through the temporal bone from the pinna to the tympanic membrane, or the eardrum. Uh, its purpose is to conduct sound from outside to the middle ear. The canal is approximately three centimetres long. Uh, the outer third is cartilaginous and the inner two thirds are bony. Uh, so the canal itself has a, a curved or sigmoid shape. Uh, when looking laterally, um, straight down the canal, you'll see that it passes initially superior and anterior, and then superior and posterior, and then it turns down inferior and anterior. Uh, for this reason, when examining the ear uh, with an otoscope, um, you want the patient to be tilting their head away from you, uh, and you can manipulate the pinna, uh, usually in adults, in an upwards uh, and backwards direction to try and straighten the canal to give you a better view. The walls of the canal are lined with essentially skin, so keratinizing stratified squamous epithelium. And this migrates in a direction heading laterally or towards the outside of the ear. Uh, inside the skin there are both sebaceous and ceruminous glands uh, which are essentially apocrine glands, and these produce uh, what we call earwax. Now let's talk about the arterial supply of the external acoustic meatus. Essentially it's the same as the supply to the pinna, uh, and I recommend that you pause the video now to test yourself on them. So the answer is the superficial temporal, uh, the post posterior auricular and the occipital artery, uh, all branches of the external carotid artery. Um, in addition to this, there are deep auricular branches of the maxillary artery that supplies the medial end of the uh, canal. The innervation of the external acoustic meatus is also similar to the pinna, so superiorly uh, it's supplied by the auriculotemporal nerve branch of the mandibular nerve uh, and posteriorly and inferiorly there are branches from the vagus nerve uh, and also some from the, um, the facial nerve. For this reason sometimes when cleaning out the ears or putting instruments in the ear uh, some people can develop a cough and that's because the vagus nerve is also responsible for the cough reflex. That concludes today's video about the external acoustic meatus. Uh, please hit like or subscribe if you'd like uh, to be informed of more of these types of videos. And uh, see you next time.